Welcome back viewers. In the last video, we have seen how to install the restricted codex using the terminal. In today's video, we will see how to install the restricted codex using the Pacman repository. So for that, let us head over to system, find out the YAST software or you can go directly to YAST and then you can open the repositories from there. Open the software repository. Now you can see here there's a list of uh, repositories that are installed. Some are enabled, some are disabled. So the sources repositories are disabled. And the debug repositories are also disabled. So debug repositories are for the developers to help uh, debug the system. So it is not required for the general users nor are the source repositories used. So now here uh, there is a way to add the extra repository. So you have to click on this add button. So from here you can add uh, any repository available on FTP, HTTP site, HTTPS site. Uh, if there are some packages available on the Samba server uh, or the Samba share, you can install them. You can install it from the network file system also. You can uh, add any ISO on CD or DVD as a repository. You can uh, add any package on your hard disk as a repository here. Same way for the USB, you can also install packages from the local directory or the local ISO image. So you have to just uh, point the uh, point the repositories towards that uh, ISO image and it will be added as a repository here. So here you can see at the top there is scan using SLP and there is community repositories. So you have to tick the community repositories, click on next. So it will now check the available community repositories on the OpenSUSE servers. So here you can see the Pacman repository and the NVIDIA repository, uh, the graphics driver repository is there, untested updates are there and the libdvd CSS repository is there. So we will have to choose the Pacman repository here and then you have to click OK. So it is adding the Pacman repository. So now it will import the untrusted GNU PG key because it is from the outside. It is not from the uh, open SUSE. It is a third party uh, repository. That's why it is showing that uh, the JPG keys are untrusted. So you have to trust it. So it will add the keys to the repository. You have to wait for the downloading of the repository. It will sync uh, the contents of the repository. You can see here now it will be available. So the Pacman repository is available. Then you have to say OK. Now you have to head over to the console. You have to type Zyper update, give your sudo password. So now you can see here the codecs are appeared. So these are the extra codecs. So this uh, the packages will contain the extra restricted codecs and it will install the VLC. So VLC uh, contains the restricted codecs also. So once you install the VLC, all the codecs, restricted codecs also will be installed. And it will also install this uh, library for the AV uh, audio video codecs. Then say there will be some utilities for the audio video. And this uh, AAC uh, format uh, file will be also installed. And there is the sampling uh, software sampling file is there. And the uh, VLC library is there we, with, along with the VLC core. VLC, VLC codec streamer. So all everything will be installed and you will be able to play most of the uh, media formats available in the market. So it is telling uh, the following for 12 packages will not be installed. Why? Because we have already installed the OPS. So you have to follow any uh, one of the two methods. 
either you go with the terminal and you install the restricted code breaks using the OPI and terminal or you can install this using the Pacman. So what we had done it, we had installed the restricted codex using the OPI and then we tried the, uh, I, I showed you the Pacman. So Pacman as a repository has been installed but it will not install these packages because already the restricted codecs have been installed using the OPI and terminal. So there will be duplication of the uh, codecs, restricted codecs, hence it is not installing. There is some other way also, you have to allow the vendor change, then also you can overwrite on the OPI. So that is a different video, I will show you how to allow the vendor change and then install the Pacman. So that is also another video, I can do it for you. But uh, basics you have got either install the restricted codex using the OPI and terminal method or you can install using the Pacman method. If you use the Pacman method, don't uh, go for the OPI method. If you use the OPI method, don't go for the Pacman method. So I think you have got uh, the idea. Both are simple. You follow what you uh, think is easy. Either go for Pacman or go for OPS. Thank you very much. I will stop the video here and in one of the videos, I will show you how to do a vendor change and then install uh, the packages from the Pacman repository. So that will be another nice short video which you will very much like. Thank you. See you in the next video. Bye.